Hey there, pumpernickel pitas. Welcome to my video today. I was just about to get ready and I was like, why don't you guys get ready with me? <laughs> today I'm gonna be doing a very simple, I don't wanna look like the human garbage pail that I feel like right now because of my allergies look. Ugh, allergies, am I right? <laughs> cool, anyway, um, so I'm gonna put some stuff on my face and that should help this whole situation a lot and I thought I would involve you guys in that process. I've already put on the Kiss My Face sunscreen moisturizer that I wear most days and so I'm moisturized but I'm still a little dry as per huge and I'm gonna just put on some floral mist. Oh yeah, wake that shit up! Mm, 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 mm. And lately my under eyes have been making it so I don't get carded anymore uh, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of rosehip oil around them because they've just been like looking like stuff's going on, you know? Wisdom. It's fine. I don't mind it. I just I'm gonna hydrate a little extra in that part of the face. And my skull holes. And now I'm just gonna put some face atelier foundation on my face atelier with a damp beauty blender and talk about important current events with you guys. Like for example, if I don't ever find out in my lifetime which actress bit Beyonce's face, I'm I'm not gonna be okay. <laughs> I need to know. You know some people cannot know things, and that's fine. I'm not one of those people, and I need to know this. And I know Chrissy Teigen knows, and it's really upsetting because I need, I need, need to know. If you have any tips, just call the hotline that I set up. It's one eight hundred. Um, Caitlin wants to know who bit Beyonce's face, so I'm calling this number now. And now I shall spot conceal some spots with the Kevin Aquan sensual. Skin Enhancer. This moment feels really sensual, so that name is very fitting. Nothing sexier than covering up my adult acne. Now I'm just putting a little Urban Decay Naked on my eyeball scrotums and realizing how sexual <laughs> the names of my complexion makeup are. Naked Concealer, sensual skin enhancer, eye scrotums. <laughs> I just actually snorted. Woo! Yeah, uh, my allergies are also clearly very sexual, making me snort. This video is hot. <laughs> now that I've completed the face of my makeup, where I look like a human thumb. See, so much like a thumb. Uh, I'm gonna put bronzer on, and that's gonna help. Face, ba 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 ba. Just hit it on my cheek bones, forehead. Can I just say that the weirdest part about doing YouTube videos for me, especially these types of get ready with me videos, is the complete silence. <laughs> Because I'm never like, hey, I'm gonna get ready with my friend, and we're not gonna listen to any music. We're just gonna sit here in silence while we put stuff on our faces, and that bothers me so much because I really want to be able to listen to music with you guys while I do this, but it's like copyright stuff. Also, it sounds terrible unless I like mic'd myself and the music and then like adjusted the levels throughout for what I'm talking. I'm not gonna do any of that. Um, so, it just can't happen. It can't happen. It's forbidden. <laughs> forbidden. <laughs> Why do I keep making everything sexual right now? I don't know. It's a question for my therapist. <laughs> I'm also putting it on my nutties. So I just paid for a year of Duolingo because my dad speaks Spanish and I grew up speaking like a... I... Could understand a lot of what people were saying, and I could kind of respond, depending on the time period. Languages are funny where if you don't, you're not practicing them, they're just sort of like, bye! <laughs> um, and someone tried to speak Spanish to me recently, and I was like, oh wow, we have no idea what's happening right now. That really bugged me, and 
I like Duolingo. I downloaded it a while ago and started using it, but then I got distracted and didn't keep using it. But I was like, if I pay for a full year of this, I'm going to use that shit. So you guys should um, keep me motivated and um, send words of encouragement and talk to me in Spanish. My dad's talking to me in Spanish, so that should help. It'll be annoying for a little bit when I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. But then it'll get better, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now I shall put some Glossier Cloud Paint in beam on my cheeks. It's technical. <laughs> well, that's what you get for trying to be silly. This technique's very important. Brows, 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 brows. Now I'm just going to fill in. I don't, I don't want my brows to be like super done. I sound so nasal right now. Oh, so annoying. Um, so I'm just doing a little bit of like framework. So I'm just doing like little stroke in a bald spot. Some strokes, kind of like when I brush my brow hairs up at the highest point they go to. Just kind of like doing some little dots and. Strokes. Strokes. <laughs> Sexual. Just stroking my eyebrows. <laughs> Ew, get out of here, Caitlin. And moving along, I'm just doing that on the other side as well. Spoiler alert, I'm not gonna do a different thing to this eyebrow. Not today. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Glossier Boy Brow. Um, I just started that like I was in the middle of a sentence and I haven't been talking for like the last two minutes. <laughs> I'm going to use the Glossier Boy Brow and I have found that if I fill in my brows like completely and then I use this, it just looks too done. And as you all know, I am allergic to looking like I tried. So... I just did like a little bit of filling in with a pencil and now I'll do a little bit of buh brow. Nino. Little Nino brow. Fun anecdote, a superstorm called El Nino destroyed my house as a child. <laughs> it's actually true. <laughs> it wasn't as funny when it happened. And now I'm going to put some eyeshadow on. I'm going to use this. <laughs> Marc Jacobs palette that I still think is pretty awesome. And what color am I going to use? Hmm. Let's think about this together. So a lot of time lately I just use this copper color all on its lonesome because it makes my green eyes look pretty. And I like to use only one eyeshadow color all the time, like this. Um, but it is very bright and I'm feeling very tired today. Is that a good thing? Maybe I should just not think about this as much as I'm thinking about it and do it. No, that's too intense for my mood right now. I'm just gonna use the shimmery, soft, pink color. Just a little wash over my lid. Just washing my eyelid. <laughs> do you guys listen to any podcasts? <laughs> I, um, I, I, this is just like, I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, I'm not cool, and when something is a thing for a long time, then I'm like, hey guys, have you heard of this? Um, and podcasts are definitely a thing that people have liked for a while. Comedy Bang Bang is like a very popular one, so I don't feel like I'm introducing a lot of new information right now, but I listened to it for the first time the other day and it was Thomas Middleditch from Silicon Valley <laughs> and I'm kind of obsessed with him. His Instagram is so funny. He's an improv actor, comedian and so he just posts a lot of funny and very weird things. Like he wrote this song about um, if you were to sell your teeth to him. <laughs> it goes, what do you give me for all your teeth? I want to buy your teeth from you. Oh, I'm a teeth buyer. Wait, I'm a teeth buyer. You're a teeth seller. Let's do a deal. Oh, what do you look like without your teeth? I'm telling you, not that bad. So, sell me your teeth. Let me have your teeth. These. Let me wait. So, sell me your teeth, let me have your teeth, these I could put them in a bag. 
like, ooh, I'll just put him, I'll just put him, I'll put your teeth in the back. I didn't intend to sing that whole song when I started this story about a podcast, but it happened. Anyway, he just like records himself saying stuff like that where you can tell he's just improvising and posted and it's so amazing. And so I subscribed to Comedy Bang Bang and then I saw that the most recent episode was him. So I was like, definitely I'll listen to that. And I was at Target and I don't, I recommend the podcast. I don't recommend listening to it at Target by yourself on your headphones because I was laughing so hard at certain points throughout it that <laughs> like multiple people that actually asked me what was happening that I didn't know. Like they audibly were like, are you okay? And I was like, I was listening to this really funny podcast right now. And they were like, great. Because <laughs> I was just like standing behind a woman looking at snacks, like laughing uncontrollably. And she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm just living my life. Okay. I'm living my life. Anyway, if you have podcasts that you enjoy, please tell me, because I'm, um, I'm an adult now. I listen to podcasts for entertainment. Oh, I'm also stabbing myself in the eye, and it's really tickly. Why am I better at putting makeup on other people's faces? <laughs> now I'm going to use that copper color, and I'm just going to put it around the outer half of my lash line. Not like that though. <laughs> Ooh, that is something pretty. It is time to curl my eye hairs. <laughs> and I'm still trying to find a cruelty free dark store mascara that I like and I bought this e.l.f. mineral infused mascara. I used to use this a really long time ago but they definitely changed the brush at least. I don't know about the formula but I bought this recently and I actually for the life of me can't remember if I've tried it already or not in a video recently or in life. So this is a possible first impressions. <laughs> Touching. Touching. I was hoping when I started applying it that I'd be like, oh yeah, I use this, or like, nope, I definitely haven't used this, and neither of those things are happening right now. I still have no idea. I think I like it though. I used to like it a long time ago, but it was one of those ones, I want to say, where pretty quickly it like went bad in the sense that it just dried out really fast. So I would have to buy it really often, and that got tedious. You don't own me, I'm not just one of your many toys. That's what I'll do if I can't listen to music, I'll just sing to you guys through every video. J. K. Cause you know how when you're a kid or a teenager, everybody always has that friend that's like in choir and will never stop singing and everybody- and you're just like, I get it, you sing, okay, but just like stop. <laughs> stop always singing and I try really hard not to be that friend. It's like Jenna Maroney on 30 Rock. That that whole deal. Also random shout out to Jane Krakowski that plays Jenna Maroney. I honestly think she's such a brilliant character actress because I've talked to so many people that watch that show and they're like, oh Jenna drives me crazy and I'm like that's amazing because she, that actress, commits so fully to that character. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and assume that she does not actually have the personality of Jenna Brony. And she just commits so hard that she drives people crazy sometimes watching the show because, it, I mean, I feel like it takes a lot of nads to play a character that's like so awful, so fully that it's like people don't even separate that that's not real. You know, like that she delivers absurd lines so effortlessly that it's like people just absorb it as like it's really happening, which is amazing to me. Also, Jenna absolutely has some of the best lines on the entire show. She's brilliant. Does anybody ever not get mascara on their lash line when they apply it? If you do, can you help me? <laughs> Give me your tips. Because I don't get it on other people's faces, but just to circle back to what I said earlier, I'm better at putting makeup on other people than I am on myself. 
I think a big part of that is I care much less about putting makeup on my own face because no one is paying me to do it. But then also like just literally when I'm putting makeup on somebody else's eyes and eyelashes like I can fully see what I'm doing but by nature when you put makeup on your own eyelashes and eye you have to obscure your vision to do it because you're putting it on your eye. And I'm going to use this lip gloss, I'm going to call it a lip gloss, from Hard Candy. Hmm. I wonder if ground grannies like this. Hard candies? Like butterscotch? Anyway. It's called Cashmere Silk and it says it's a demi matte cream lip color. And I was like, oh that sounds perfect because I'm always looking for something that's like tinted moisturizer for my lips. If that makes sense. And I can never, I have nev not ever found the perfect thing. Uh, and I was like, demi matte? Like, it says it's sheer demi-matte color, and I was like, perfect. It's honestly just lip gloss. <laughs> but, um, that's fine, because it's, I, I like the lip gloss that it is. It's nice. This is the color. Sorbet. I said it. With the T. Okay, I've reached the point of doneness, so stick a fork in me, but don't, because ow. And I hope you guys had fun listening to uh, awkward silence with me while I got ready. You guys should put makeup on at the same time and talk back to the screen. <laughs> and I'll see you um, soon. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Kiki G Makeup and like this video. And if you don't do those things, when I find out who bit Beyonce's face, I won't tell you. So to save yourself a life of infuriating unsolved mystery, you should probably subscribe and do the other stuff too. Cool. I will see you soon.